Well, hello and welcome to Stitch 23 and 23, Day 3. I'm Ellen Johnson. I'm going to be your host tonight and I'm delighted to be here with you. So do me a favor and if you're watching from somewhere besides Alabama or actually anywhere, go ahead and type in the chat where you're watching from um, and let me know what uh, maybe what kind of project you're working on. If you're working on an ornament or a stocking or, I don't know, a pillow or something like that, let me know what you're working on. Um, this, and I will tell you a little bit why you're doing that. Um, this event, Stitch 23 and 23, is all about helping you to reestablish your needlepoint hobby or your habit of working on your projects. And the whole the rest of this is we would love for you to stitch 23 minutes every day for the next now 20, 20 days. So it's a three week long event and every day I will share, except Sunday, every day I will share um, a tip or a hint or a new tutorial for how to do something fun that you can apply to your needlepoint projects or we'll just do something downright fun. Share a little bit of personal information so that you can get to know other people in our Serendipity Needleworks community of stitchers. So I think there's been a little bit of confusion or there have been some questions. I did send out today an email that hopefully will answer all of those questions. But after we do this presentation here about how you can use different kinds of things to really light up your needlepoint so it's easier for you to see, then I'll also take some time to answer some questions and to just go over some things with you. So ready to dive in? Terrific. Let's get started. So as you know, I'm a big fan of Craft Optics glasses. The folks at Craft Optics are amazing to work with. Now, these glasses were actually developed by a dentist so that he could see when he was working on a patient's teeth. And I bought a pair, I guess, probably two or, well, probably closer to three years ago. So this is the glass. They come in a case. So let me tell you a little bit about them. So first of all, you know how when you're working on your needlepoint projects, um, you really, especially when you're working on 18 mesh canvas, it can be so hard to see those itty bitty holes, especially if you're working on dark colors. So one of the things that, you know, one of the tips that I usually um, share with folks is if I'm working on a dark color on a, on a needlepoint canvas, I will either put a white towel or a white pillowcase in my lap and that actually makes it a little bit easier to see where my stitches should go and so that's one little helpful hint but as I've gotten older my eyes have gotten uh, a little bit more I don't know it's a little bit harder to see especially those itty bitty holes on 18 count canvas so a few years back I started looking into these glasses. I had seen these for the first time or something like them. I'm not sure they were actually craft optics, the ones that I saw first. I actually saw Kelly Clark wearing a pair of glasses with the telescopic um, or the telescopes on them uh, several, several years ago. And I thought, man, those are pretty cool. But at that point, I wasn't even wearing glasses, so it wasn't an issue. And I, but I just, I don't know, that's one of those things that, you know, you, you maybe store it away for future reference. And so when I did hit that place where I needed some additional help, um, I decided that I was going to investigate these glasses. So the beauty of them, so let me, I'm just going to open up my case because they, they have at Craft Optics a, uh, what they call their wow package. And it really is a wow package. So it comes with the, the glasses come with the case and the nice thing about these with the wow package is that they come with an LED light that is attached. If you opt for it, you don't have to get it if you don't want the light, but I can't imagine not getting the light. So they have the, the light, the LED light on the front, and then the telescopes are literally going to double the size of what you're working on. So in other words, it's not like those 2X glasses that you get at the grocery store or the drugstore. This literally doubles the magnification of what you're looking at. So it really is close. Now, 
I'm going to take off these glasses and put on my craft optics glasses so you can see how they work. They have this stretchy, this little stretchy strap on the back and you put them over and let me flip the telescopes up. All right. So I wear um, what are called progressive lenses with my glasses. You can't get progressive lenses in your um, craft optics glasses, but they can do bifocals, trifocals, or if you don't wear glasses, they can either leave the frames without anything in them or they'll put blanks in there. So essentially what you have is a pair of titanium frames, which are very, very lightweight. Now, the purpose of the strap, because as you can see, it's got this little mechanism on it. I think you can see that. You can tighten it. And so that means it stays like snug against your head so that they're not going to slide down your nose, which is awesome. All right, when you're ready to start working, then you just move the telescopes down and start stitching. Now, I don't, and honestly, I'm not sure that my uh, that I've got my battery charged as well as I should have. Uh-oh, hang on. Technology. I have, technology has been not my friend for the past... <laughs> for the past couple of weeks. Hopefully it's going to be my friend today. It may not be. And if it's not, then oh, well, fiddlesticks. But it, it wouldn't do any good for me to turn it on truthfully because if I did, then you wouldn't be able to see. I don't want to blind you. But it has this battery pack. They come with the battery pack and you can charge the battery. You get I get usually around 15 hours out of my battery pack, which is a really long time. And it is, um, they call this the dream beam. So D-R-E-A-M-B-E-A-M. And it really does light up the area that you're working on, which is super helpful. So I'm going to take these off now and put my other glasses on and just tell you a little bit about um, about the, the uh, craft optics glasses. So what the process that you follow, if you decide that you want to investigate these is obviously you can go to their website and it's craftoptics.com. We also have a blog post that I wrote on the serendipity needleworks website. Um, a couple of years ago, I think, and I'll share with you the link for that. Um, actually let me hop over here and just fix it really fast so that you can um, you can see it. I'll go ahead and make a little banner really fast so that you can. Here's the here's the link to and there we go. That's the link to the um, to the blog post about the craft optics glasses. So here's the here's the deal. When I first decided I wanted to investigate them a little more, I called the company and they have the nicest lady that works in their customer service department. Her name is Lynn. And Lynn walked me through the process and explained to me that all I needed to do was send my most recent prescription to them and they could then create the glasses to fit my prescription. Now, I will say this. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that yourself, they even offer the service of helping you out with that process. So they'll contact your ophthalmologist and get your prescription and make sure they have all the right measurements because they're very precise. These glasses are very precise. They take a measurement of your, where your pupil is in your eye, the distance between, so that your telescopes are perfectly aligned with your line of vision. They also can uh, fix these or set these up for close work, medium range work, and farther away work. So if you tend to work on a floor frame or a floor stand, then you might opt for the for the longer distance. If you're like me and you work on a lap stand a lot, then you might want the medium range. If you hold something in your hand and you have it right up next to your face, you may want the short range. But the beauty of it is that the, the customer service department will help you make that decision. And they come with a money back guarantee. So you absolutely are risk free. Um, if you even buy these and decide then that you don't like them, you have a 45 day window in which you can return them. And it's 
That's it. That's all you do. You just turn them in and you say, hey, this just didn't really work for me. I will say it takes a little bit of time to get used to wearing them because I, it took me probably between one and two weeks because it is totally different, but it is so, so worth um, the, the adjustment period because you can literally see exactly what you're working on. The light is bright enough that it eliminates the area that you're working on and you're no longer hunched over or humped over your work. Um, super, super, uh, one the very, I would say probably in the top five, if not the number one investment that I've ever made in my needlepoint hobby, especially now that I've gotten older and my eyes are not what they used to be. So I can, you can, this um, cord that goes with these, or that goes along with the battery pack is attached to the light that's on the actual glasses themselves. And there's a little button that you use to push to you know, turn them on and off. And it's got a clip on it. You can see the clip. If I turn it sideways, you can see the clip and you can clip that onto your clothes, your chair, whatever. Um, and it's just super easy. The It doesn't take very long for the battery to charge either, which is another big plus. So one of the reasons I wanted to make sure that I shared these with you especially right now, is because our friends at Craft Optics have a special coupon code that only our followers, only my followers, Serendipity Needleworks, um, if you use my code, basically, uh, my coupon code, you save $125 off the cost of your WOW package, which is the best offer that they have. It's better even than what they, they um, offer on Black Friday. So, it's a really good, um, I, I would say it's a great investment, but it's also a really good opportunity for you to be able to take advantage of, um, of, of a coupon that will give you the biggest discount off of this product that you're going to find anywhere. So uh, I, again, the coupon code is my name, Ellen Johnson. And all you do, if you decide that you want to get some, is you just either use that coupon code when you check out on their website or share that with um, the person that you're talking with in the customer service department and they will um, use that coupon code and, and take that $125 off of your um, off of your order. Now, here's an even better part. During the next three weeks, during Stitch 23 for 20, uh, Stitch 23 in 23, they are doing a, a special promotion just for us. Anybody that buys their glasses during this window will have their name entered into a drawing to get their glasses free. So if you buy your glasses anywhere from this past Monday all the way through February the 14th, then your name will go in the hat. And at the end of February 14th, we'll pull one name out. And that person who had purchased a, a, a wow package during this three week window will get their glasses for free and they'll get uh, their purchase refunded. So Craft Optics will issue the refund to the, the payment method um, that was used to, to purchase the glasses. In addition to that, they're also offering an opportunity for, we're going to draw another, so it's another, another freebie. We're going to draw for a free upgrade in your prescription. So that leads me into how does that work? What if my prescription changes? Actually, my prescription did change not too terribly long ago. And what that means is I can do one of two things. I can let it go because the prescription change was not that great. Um, it didn't really necessitate me getting new glasses. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just let this ride for a little while because Truthfully, I can't live without them. I love them so much. Um, but the on the other side, if you do have a significant change in your prescription, you can send the glasses in and they'll change the lenses out. Now, there is an $85 fee as it stands right now, um, an $85 fee for having your uh, your prescription change, but that, you know, that includes the new lenses and the shipping. So you would have to pay to get them there and then that would uh, include, I'm 99% I'm sure I'm right that that includes the return shipping to you. So it includes your new lenses and your, um, 
your shipping back. So you are, you know, we're doing a, another drawing for a free prescription upgrade. So maybe if you've had your glasses for a while and you purchased them through using our coupon code, send an email to help at serendipityneedleworks.com. And I'm going to put that up. Let's see. There's our um, email address for the help desk. Um, if you purchased your glasses from from Craft Optics in the past two or three years and you used the Ellen Johnson coupon code, then send an email to help at Serendipity Needleworks and we'll see um, about making sure that you get entered in that opportunity to get your prescription upgrade, um, your name in the drawing for that too. And then I know that there are going to be a lot of people who are going to say, well, what if I don't want to you know, get those. What if I don't, what if I don't need something like that? What if I just need a little bit of help with my uh, vision? So there are some other things that you can do to make it easier to see your needlepoint projects. And those are some of the things that I'm going to share with you aside from the wonderful craft optics glasses. So one of the things that, and I'm, I'm going to try not to make too much noise here, but one of the things that I do dearly love is my little hammerhead light. And this is great for attaching to, and let me, I'm going to hop back over here now and go share this again. Um, I love my little hammerhead light to attach to a stretcher bar frame because, and I know it's not going to come on because I take the batteries out. Whenever I'm working with one of these little portable lights like this, if I have batteries in it, I always take the batteries out because I don't want to take any chances with those batteries corroding inside the, the battery compartment. But this is super, super portable and easy to use. All you do, I mean, it takes three AAA batteries. Couldn't get any easier than that. And the thing I love specifically about this particular one is the fact that it's got that wide, um, that wide bar of LED lights. Now, you can also, I, the one that I bought... I love this because, oh my stars, check out this super long, super long, super long cord that still I haven't gotten to the end of yet. So this cord, I'll do my, um, let me see if I can, get, I got a little tangle in it. Let me see how long this cord is really and truly. So it's one, two, three, four probably a little over four and a half yards long. So, and it plugs directly into the light so that right in the very back, right there, so handy. And then you can plug it up across the room. If you don't have an outlet right next to your chair, which I don't happen to have an outlet right next to my chair. So if I'm not going to use the battery, I can use the, the, um, adapter cord and it can reach a really long distance. So that's one of the things that I love about this particular one is the fact that it does have such a really long cord. It's again, very easy to just clip onto a stretcher bar frame and off you go. So portable, great to take on the go if you're in a class. I know some classes will not allow you to have something that has to be plugged in, but there are still some places that will. So if you needed something that uh, needed a long cord, that's a really good option. Another lamp that's relatively new to me actually is this daylight. It's an Uno table lamp or, and, and so here's what, all right, it came on. So I, Ooh, gosh, I don't want to blind y'all. Uh, so this has, let me, you can adjust. So let me do it this way. So you can adjust this up and down and I think I turned it on again. Yeah, it's got the little, the touch the, at the tip of the um, bar, the light bar, you've got the, um, the control. So it has multiple um, brightnesses, I guess is the, and, and so if your eyes are sensitive to light, you might want to like look away, but it's got one, two, three. So it's got three, um, three of the different uh, brightness um, levels and you can, like I said, bend it, turn it, do whatever you need to do with it. I mean, it's really a super cool lamp. Um, it's a plug in. So you do have to have a, um, you know, a, a place where you can, an outlet where you can plug it in, 
relatively close by. Honestly, I think that the cord that I just used on this hammerhead mighty bright light that's the clip on, I believe it would work on that lamp too. I haven't tested it, but um, I believe it would it would probably work. It looks like it's the same kind of fitting. So you never, you know, and, and you may be able to get a generic one that's just a longer cord. This one does not have, a, like I said, a really long cord. It's probably... I don't know, maybe a four foot cord, maybe something along those lines. And then there's also portable magnification. So this is one of my favorite little gadgets. It's a clip on from Daylight Company. It's just a little clip on magnifier. Obviously, you can go, you need to go this way with it because you're going to clip it on. And, well, I guess you could go either way, but you clip it on your stretcher bar frame and then you adjust the magnification, the lens to, you know, whatever area you're working on on your project. This is a really good option for stretcher bar frames, especially smaller projects. And if you're working on a big project on a big stand, then you can use the big sister right here. And this is actually a Bowen um, a Bowen product uh, that's B O H I N. So this is the you know it has that that um, magnification lens and you can twist it and turn it to adjust it. But it also has this adjustable arm and it will clamp on and it clamps onto a you could uh, clamp it onto a frame. You could clamp it onto a table. So it's it's really um, something that you know it has a lot of. A lot of different um, applications or uses too. And something that I'll share with you while we're here together, if you use any of these kinds of devices that have a magnifying lens on them, it's a really good idea to keep them covered with some type of, of uh, a pouch or pocket. Um, and the reason I share that with you is because I had a customer, and this is, so I'm going to jump now to the less portable options, which my number one uh, choice for a non really a non portable uh, magnification and uh, light is a Dazor circling light and it you can get them on casters rollers or you can get them on a stationary pedestal but i've had my Dazor lamp for 35 years I've changed the bulb in it twice and it still works like a charm. Now, let me find some wood. I'm going to knock on my little stretcher bar frame over here so that it doesn't uh, quit on me now. But it is a wonderful light. It's a it's an investment as well. Um, so if you you know, if you're looking for a combination lamp and magnification, then that and you want something permanent that you can put by your chair, a days or circling and that's C-I-R-C-L. I-N-E, I think, but Dazor is D-A-Z-O-R. Check out their website because they have some really interesting things there. Um, and, you know, if you go and, and look at their, um, their different options, you can see what some of the, some of the different options are because they have different sizes and shapes and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I love my Dazor lamp. Um, and but where I was going with that is that we had a customer who had her lamp. It was in her den and the sun came through the curtains and went, actually the way she had it positioned when she stopped stitching, she left it so that when the sun came through, it actually magnified that light onto uh, her chair and it started a fire. So you do have to make sure that you keep those magnifying glasses if they're going to be, uh, you, you want to keep them covered because you want to make sure that there's not going to be any, um, any kind of fire hazard. So uh, just a, a little tip there. We're, we're a little fire um, conscious at our house. We, we had a, a really bad house fire about going on four years ago, <coughs> excuse me. And um, so, yeah, we're, we're very, very much uh, safety conscious when it comes to that sort of thing. So I am going to now, I'm going to hop back over here and take a look at the comments to see if anybody has, um, oh, Lisa says it burned a hole in her leather chair. So there you go. Um, and then she also says that Creative Stitches and More in Dallas makes covers. So, and you could probably, uh, I'm going to, 
I have a, a customer who actually her husband loved Crown Royal and she used a Crown Royal, one of those little um, flannel Crown Royal purple bags. And she used to put that over her lamp. So, you know, whatever you can, you can make your own, you can order one from a shop or from someone who is a, who makes those kinds of things or, you know, get creative. You could even put a pillowcase over it truthfully. All right. Um, and so Beth has a good question. Um, she says, is there a place where all of these items could be listed so that people can go online to investigate? So um, I don't have that, um, you know, on the, on the, um, okay, what am I, it's not on the post, but I will link to or make a list of it. It'd be easier for me to do, make a list of these items underneath the video here on, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put it under the video on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, I'll put it under there. And for those of you who, well, I think that covers everybody. So, because you can watch on YouTube if you're not on social media. And if you're on social media, you can watch on Facebook. So that takes care of that. Now, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to, uh, now that we've talked a little bit about the different ways that you can really make your uh, needlework light up so that you can see it, um, I want to share a little bit with you about how our Stitch 23 and 23 works. I know there have been some questions. And again, I would say, check your email. If you're registered for Stitch 23 and 23, you got an email today that had some pretty significant detail on how all of this works. This is different this year than what we did last year. Last year, Stitch 22 and 22 was strictly on Facebook. And we ran into some issues with that because we have people who are in our serendipity needleworks family who don't do facebook so instead of making it a strictly facebook event this year i decided to spread the post across different platforms that means across different um arenas so we have our facebook page and that's where some of the posts are being shared. The one on Monday was on our Facebook page. So if you go to the Serendipity Needleworks Facebook page, not a group. We don't have any groups on Facebook anymore. Those are all archived. That means they've all been put on pause and they don't. we don't add to those anymore. So everything that is on Facebook is on the Serendipity Needleworks Facebook page. And then we also are sharing some of the posts on Instagram. We have an Instagram account. And to find me on Instagram, it's Serendipity Needleworks. So I'm Serendipity Needleworks on Facebook. I'm Serendipity Needleworks on Instagram. And then we also have our YouTube channel, which is where some of you are watching right now. And our YouTube channel is available to anybody you can all you have to do is just log in to your uh into your computer and type uh youtube and it'll pull up and then when you go to the youtube to youtube all you have to do is type serendipity needleworks into the search bar and it'll pull up our channel i would recommend that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already there's a red subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the serendipity needleworks youtube channel and then once you do that um, there's a bell that you can click as well and if you click that bell what it will do is it'll give you a notification when i have gone live so you'll get a i think it's an email um, but you may have some choices it's been a while since i've done a subscription to a, another channel so you know, I don't know if they've updated anything, but used to be they would send you an email when when the people you subscribe to were, were live on the YouTube platform. And then finally, of course, we have our Serendipity Needleworks website. So we'll be sharing things on the website. And so we'll be doing, I don't have the schedule finished, but we'll be sharing. You know, some days we'll be on Facebook. Some days will be on Instagram. Some days will be on YouTube. Some days will be on the on the website. And those things will, um, you know, they'll they'll vary. There will be something every week on each one of those um, places. And if you don't, so that means if you don't do a particular platform, then you have the opportunity. So if you don't do Facebook, then you can catch everything else on YouTube, the Serendipity Needleworks website, or Instagram. If you don't do Instagram, then you can do Facebook. 
and YouTube and the Serendipity Needleworks website. If you don't do social media, then just come to the YouTube channel and to the Serendipity Needleworks website. So that's how it works this year um, because I wanted to make sure that we had content available, free tips and hints and videos and things available for people who did not do social media. And if you happen to be watching this and you're a member of the Stitchers Club, we have everything in one place in your community inside your member portal. So um, at, on our in our community for the Stitchers Club. So all of your things are in one place. That's so you don't have to go and try and find things. So that's just a perk of being a member of the Stitchers Club. So uh, I wanted to just, like I said, make sure that I addressed that. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to help at serendipityneedleworks.com. Um, we're more than happy to help. This is our gift, my teams, and my gift to you. There's no charge for this. Um, so we're spending the next three weeks sharing all kinds of free goodies and tips and videos and all that kind of stuff to help you really re-engage with your needlepoint hobby with the encouragement of you to try and stitch for 23 minutes every day for the next now 20 days um, and hopefully well beyond that. So thank you for being here tonight. I really appreciate it. Make sure that if you have any questions, you leave them down below this video in the comments. If you're watching this as a recording, also feel free to, to leave your comments down below and we will do our best to, to get back to those in as timely a manner as we possibly can. I will ask for your patience and understanding. We are a small but mighty team. There are way more of you than there are of us, so it may take us a little bit of time. Um, and so, uh, again, thank you for being here. Have a terrific night. And I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.